Are you thinking about getting a new set of paints for your miniatures? Well, today I'm going to be looking at the Army Painter Mega Set. What is up everybody? It is Coach and I'm bringing you a review today. So a few months ago, I, I, I have a lot of Reaper paints. I also have some of the GW stuff and I also have um, a few Vallejo paints. And while all are goods and bads and stuff, I have a few Army Painter paints. So now what I noticed that, it just so happened that the Reaper paints, which is the bulk of my paints, are starting to run out of color. What I mean by that is, I've been painting, 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 and now the colors are, you know, it, I didn't have this color, I didn't have this color. It, they all seem to go at the same time, which uh, ironically was a good thing. So I started asking around, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly? And certain people said, she get this, she get that, she get this. And then a few guys on Discord I was talking to said that they use Army Painter exclusively. And a lot of the wargaming guys, the historical ones like World War II and stuff, use a lot of the war, game, war uh, Army Painter paints so what i did was i looked around and the set for the money um i got the army painter mega paint set in this set is 39 acrylics four washes five metallics and two effects all right so the effects are basically um blood and rust uh the washes are their strong tone flesh tone soft tone dark tone and the five metallics are basically silver uh gold and bronze and then you get uh, a wide range of paints. Also, it comes with a Army Painter Wargamer Regiment brush. Uh, it brings, you also have a uh, painter's guide. So instead of doing just a unboxing and show you what's up, I want to do a review of it. So I've been using them exclusively for about eight months, okay? And I've done a lot of different models, different types of models in different wargaming genres and some game pieces for board games and whatnot using the paints. And I gotta tell you, I really do like them. Let's talk about the paints. The paints themselves are very, um, they're very good, they're very mixed. Now I will say this, I do put, I put a, a rock in them because I'm not gonna buy ball bearings because they're more expensive. You buy a rock, they don't rust, they go in there and that, that's my agitator. That's a quick tip for you guys. I am using a paint shaker, okay? I use a paint shaker for all the paints, for the washes, for the metals, for the regular paints, because I just feel that for me, I'm gonna sit there and, and, and uh, uh, shake the bottles. Instead of doing that, I use the paint shaker. Little time saver. I've grown quite fond of it. I don't know if it's lazy, but hey, that's what I got, use, use the uh, paint shaker. And what I found is, is that using the two layers, the first layer that goes on is nice and smooth, and it's very opaque. And then the second layer that goes on covers really well. If you're looking to just put one coat on them and be done with it, it's not the way it works. But also too, uh, I suggest you do two or three colors because that'll keep the, keep the details. And if you're just slapping paint on it, obviously you're gonna cover up your details. So now let's talk about the paints themselves. The colors are great, coverage is great. I really do like them. I don't, uh, I, I didn't have an issue with any of the paints, especially the yellows, which are usually, um, I, I don't know, I've always had a hard time with yellow, the Reaper yellow and the GW yellows. They're a little bit uh, wonky at some times. The Army Painter was still, yellow seems to be a difficult color, but when I put two coats on it, they came up really well. The metallics. I don't really do the non-metal metallic. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that good enough yet. So um, what I do is I use the straight metallics, you know, true metallics. The three silvers that I got using them here with the washes, excellent. I love it. I've been using the bronze and I love the gold. The gold is really good. Um, you could see some of the examples. I really do like these, uh, the paints that are here. So the washes, like all the other paints that I've been using, I use, the, use them with a wet palette. So paint shaker, wet palette, um, and the paints. That's how I'm getting these results. The washes are really good. I watered them a little bit extra, just a little, little bit extra to get into the crevice and creases because I like, I like the way they are. 
but I usually do about two coats of washes and they are fantastic. So um, I love the fact that the washes are good. They're comparable to the GW washes, in my opinion. You might have a different opinion. That's okay, but from what I've seen so far, that's what they are. So they're really good. Um, I only have four of them. I'm thinking about expanding and buying the other set. All right, so here's here's the breakdown. The Army, the, this Army Paint Omega set has pretty much all the colors you need to start off with, okay? Uh, they have a few other sets. I think I'm going to buy the other set that goes with this so that you have every single paint. In my humble opinion, and this is my opinion, you can disagree with me and that's okay. I really do love the Army Painter. I'm so glad I got this set. Like I said, I've been using them exclusively the last eight months and they work well. About a month ago, I started integrating with all the paints that I have and they're just in there with the other paints working together. Fantastic. The viscosity of the paints are great. The coverage is great. Nice set of colors, the vibrant colors, the dark colors. I really do like them. Good for blending. Good for, um, you know, just doing quick washes, dry brushing, everything. Every technique you can think of, I used it. I really do like the Army Painter sets. I do. I've had a few Army Painters in the past, and they were okay, but I've gotten them at, like, cons or whatever, and I don't know if they were old or whatnot, but the paints that I've, I've received eight months ago with this set, I think are phenomenal. In my opinion, this is great for a beginner. This can be for an advanced. Um, I haven't thrown it through the airbrush yet because I use my Badger for that, but I'm going to start using them, uh, thin them out, put them into the airbrush and see how that works. That's my, uh, my next experiment with these things. But the Army Paint Omega set for the money and how the paints are, coach's seal of approval. Go out and get yourself a, a, a set of that if you're looking for a, a set of that, or even try a few, just a few colors to see what they're like and let me know what you think. I've had positive results. I hope you do too. So if this is your first time here and you'd like to see more videos like this and a lot of other videos we have on the channel, once you consider subscribing, hit that like button. And if you like the channel and you like what we're doing and you want to support us in another way, we also have a Patreon page. Check out our Discord, get to talking with you. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.